Hello everyone. So in our previous session, we have learned how to turn on and off an LED or what, how to use a breadboard, uh, what is an LED and like the, I created a basic circuit of it. Now in today's session, what we are going to do, we are going to use this push button to turn and off an LED. Like here you can see if I press it, so the LED should turn on and when I release it, the LED, LED should turn off. So for that, uh, we have to create the basic circuit of it. Now, before going uh, in our circuit diagram, let's first understand how to use this push button. So this is a kind of switch, like uh, you have uh, seen this switch in your uh, computer keyboards, that when you press it, then some button or some actions has been done. When you release it, then it is not performing. So like that we have a push button or we can call it as a uh, momentary button. So it will be active until you the uh, switch like if you are pressing it it will be active when you release it it is not active so it is your push button we call them a push button now if you see the back side of your push button you can see that it has four pins so let me show you I think it is not uh, focusing a little bit but you see it here, uh, you can see that it has four pins. Now let me remove this left header. Then I think it might, you might easily see it. Okay, here you can see it. Now here you can see it has four pins. But in our switch, you can see when I pass it. But how to use this four pins? Huh? That's the problem. Now, if you see it very little bit carefully that uh, on a single side, we have two pins huh? like this. Like the two pins huh? we have in on a single side so these two pins will be active when we press the button like uh, initially these two pins are not connected with each other but when i press it they will be interconnected it is internally in our switch that when i press the switch these two pins will be interconnected same for this two also initially these two pins are not connected with each other but when i press on it the switch like these two pins will be interconnected now, if we see along this line, that is horizontal, uh, vertical, that's from top and bottom one. Let's name them. It will be much easier for us. So, if I name it, let's say I name it. Okay. Let's name it. So, let's say this is your first, second, third, fourth. Okay, one, two, three, four. So, by default, when I'm not pressing the key, one and four are internally connected. Mm, it's not focusing okay like one and your four are internally connected when i am not pressing the key similarly two and three these two are also internally connected but when i press the key okay this one and two are these two pins are internal like connect when i press it same for downward three and four will be connected when i press it and by default this one four this vertically connection and this one also that's uh, we will better understand it by using a breadboard by performing an actual working circuit now let's suppose that we don't know anything about this uh, four pins we only know that when i press the key uh, the led should turn on so let's make all of the four pins different so if i connect it here let's assume that i am connecting it in here so you will see that these two pins focus it okay these two pins here we have like here they are short circuited because in our breadboard it is a property that in our component section vertically the columns are like short circuited so here and here we have short circuited so we cannot use it like this so if i turn it and like insert it like this again these two pins will be short circuited and these two pins will be short circuited so what i can do i can insert them here in the gap so let me first insert it in the gap here you can see two pins here here we have two pins and here we have two pins so these four pins are now different now if i if we see it from the back side you will see that we have a gap here so these are not interconnected means the lines goes from here and in our bottom they are they have a space so they are not interconnected now one more thing we have two pins so these two pins are different because they are vertically on a different sections. Similarly, we have here these two pins are also different and these sections are also different because we have a gap between them. 
so all the four pins are different now let's create a circuit to understand it so let me use let's say this green color led i want to turn on this led when i press the button so about led we have already learned about let me again explain you so it will have two legs one will be your positive another one will be your negative it will be only turned when we provide positive leg with a positive supply and the negative one with a negative supply now by default if we have the legs uncutted or we pull out a fresh led you will see that two leds different length of your legs the longer one will be your positive shorter one will be your negative but if we somehow can't identify like if someone cuts the leg then what we have to do if we see inside of our led carefully you will see that it has two sections okay it is not focusing but if you uh, see it inside of your led you will see that it uh, okay here you can see okay no issue like if you see uh, on your side you will there see that inside of it it has two sections now inside it will be like opposite now as i have told you the longer one should will be positive shorter one is negative inside the shorter one is positive longer one is negative okay now let's say i connected here differently both of them are at a different area so they are not interconnected with each other now no connection we have done till now let's use a battery for power supply or power source we have a positive pin so let's provide it with a positive power negative pin with a negative power okay that's it so we have to bend the power supply but we haven't used or connected these two components so it will not work till now now what we want to do we are going to use some jumper wires and resistance so here we are using the resistance of 220 ohms so what i want to do let's make some connections so okay so my circuit let me pull it pull down okay. now what i want to do i want to use a resistance and connected with the positive pin right simply positive and in the positive the another wire or another pin towards the positive of your led so it is like positive to positive because this is how your led work positive power to the positive one negative pin to the negative or we can call as ground okay so positive to the positive now we have left with the negative pin or negative part of your led so let's use a jumper wire and connect them with one pin so here we have four pin in our push button like one two three four we have four let's connect them with a single one so let me see okay here we have one so just the first one okay now as a, as i know that for turning on an led i need to provide it two power supply one is positive another one negative positive i have provided using the resistance negative i have to provide it so let's use a uh, wire put it in a negative section now i want to provide the negative power uh, negative power so if i provide it like here so it is like same pin so it will be work if i provide like in the second number pin in front of them like this so it has two pins one is here another one we have put it the one wire here and another one here So if I press the key, LED is turning on, releasing, off. Perfect. Apart from these two, we have two more here. So let's check them. If I connect the third pin, vertical, here you can see. When I press it, turning on, releasing, off. And in front of it, like the same, same line, it will be by default turn on. As we have already uh, learned about that, in the same area, the wires are internally short circuited but in the front of them like here yeah. it will be work when i press it similarly for the bad one like x cross section so it is a basic uh, circuit diagram when uh, like when i press the key the led will glow thank you and see you in the next session